Hi, welcome back to episode 4.5, where we will introduce private and shared variables, parallel loops and their scheduling. The value of OpenMP for computing tasks is in support for common parallel patterns. One of the most common patterns in parallel applications is a parallel for loop. This pattern is sometimes also called MapReduce. It occurs when we have a set of work items which we can enumerate with a loop and the logic of the program allows us to execute different loop iterations concurrently. OpenMP has a built-in functionality for parallelizing such for loops. The framework takes care of creating threads and distributing the loop iterations between them. Parallel processing may accelerate calculations by a factor that can, in best-case scenario, be equal to the number of OpenMP threads. In code, implementing a parallel loop is easy. Just prior to the loop that we want to parallelize, we must insert the statement pragma OMP parallel 4. At this point, threads will be created and different loop iterations will be assigned to different threads. At the end of the parallel loop, threads will be synchronized and the program will return to serial execution in the initial thread. Usually parallel loops contain many more iterations than there are threads. For example, on an Intel Xeon FICO processor with 240 logical cores, good parallel loops will have thousands or millions of iterations. This will not oversubscribe the system, OpenMP will make sure that no more than one iteration is processed in each of the threads. Now that we have seen a parallel program with OpenMP, it is important to understand the memory view available to threads. By default, all quantities visible in the scope of the parallel loop are shared between threads. Each thread sees the same value of shared variables. If one thread changes a shared variable, all other threads will see the modification. However, sometimes the logic of the program needs a variable that has the same name but different values in different threads. Such variables are called private variables. To control which variables are shared and which are private, we can include the clause shared or the clause private in the OpenMP pragma parallel. Here, we marked variable A as private. So when the loop begins, each thread will get a private copy of this integer. When the loop ends, the multiple copies that each thread had will be removed from memory. This code once again illustrates a parallel loop and variable sharing in OpenMP. But this time we use a different syntax, which may give our program more flexibility. In the first line we have pragma OMP parallel. It starts multiple threads, but does not initiate a loop. Inside the code of each thread we declare the variable private number. This variable will automatically be private to each thread because it was created inside the parallel region. Then our code has pragma OMP4 and the for loop. Notice that we do not have the word parallel in this pragma. That is because a parallel region already exists and we are only teaming threads to process loop iterations. In this slide we demonstrate the setting of OpenMP loop scheduling mode. We have the clause schedule dynamic 4, which calls for dynamic scheduling for this loop with the grain size of 4. The scheduling modes supported by OpenMP are static, dynamic and guided. Choosing the scheduling mode allows us to find a balance between scheduling overhead and load balancing. For more information on scheduling, refer to the OpenMP documentation or to our book Parallel Programming and Optimization with Intel Xeon FICO processors. In the book, we discuss an example application in which tuning the loop scheduling mode is necessary for performance optimization. Parallel for loops are a powerful tool that may be applied to a large number of tasks in computing. Before we can start applying parallelism to practical algorithms, we have to learn about synchronization and reduction across threads. Those topics will be discussed very soon in this chapter. But before we go there, let's talk in the next episode about different parallel pattern, the fork join model.